is back with us. How are you, Chef? Good, good to mate. see you I'm again. Good. I'm good. Okay, yeah. what are we making today? We are making a three mushroom barley risotto. Now, got a I heard, yeah. fresh mushrooms. Yep. We've got some beautiful dried mushrooms in here. Oh, is that what Puccinis? they were? Yeah. Now, good. I heard that you're not using any rice. So, how do you do a no risotto rice. without any rice? Like you do a risotto, but with barley and stuff. Okay, yeah. nice. Good work. Oh, good. I'm excited. It's a nice, uh, nice variation. Yeah. Nice nutty. You know, taste and texture to it. It's good. Good, yeah. good, good. Okay, and it looks like it's going to scrub up an absolute treat. If you want the recipe, we'll talk you through it very soon. Right now, though, it's over to Mel. And you know the artwork you see every day. Jesse Abarista does that. He's a man of many talents. Okay, great to have yes. you with us in the cafe kitchen. How are you, Shark? I'm you good, good, mate. I'm good. You ready yeah, to go really today? Good. Really good. Yep. Okay. Good. So we're going to start off with uh, some veggie stock. You know, I'm really good in the kitchen. <laughs> 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 you can stir for me. Okay, good. Um, you want a really good, good quality veggie stock because right. that's going to be the base of your mm -hmm. um, risotto. So we're veggie just stock. Heat that. Yeah, yep. veggie stock. Chicken is good as well. Okay, Great chicken. That's what we're going to use. Um, what is that? Thyme. Thyme. So we're going to use that in a couple of places. So I'm just going to chuck some. I love a bit of thyme because it's quite often just growing down the street. You can just, you know, race down yeah, the road. Rosemary's good as yeah, well. No. It grows everywhere. Thanks for um, the neighbours. And I've Thank got you. some dried porcini mushrooms here. Okay. Um, so we're going to dump a few of those in. Why do you use them dry? Because um, you can't get them fresh in New Zealand. Right, well, there you, you go. can get them fresh in Christchurch, I think. Right, but, but they're gold. Fortune, yeah, right. I don't think you can buy them. <laughs> no one's gonna, no one's gonna sell them to you. They're gonna keep them. Okay, nice. Um, so we just want to flavour up that that stock a little bit. Okay. Uh, Puccini's are really good. They're they're really kind of robust, hearty flavour, like nice. a really savoury flavour. Oh, yeah. good. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Okay, now this is a risotto made with barley, yep. so when did you first come across this? Uh, I was working down in Tiano and I tried it at a little restaurant down there. I think it was a barley and uh, venison. Oh, yeah. Uh, barley risotto with some venison. That, that would make amazing. sense. Yeah, yeah. great deer yeah. hunting down Tiano, yeah. way, so that's really fantastic. Good. Okay. Okay, so that's a very nicely chopped onion you've got going on yeah. there. Keep diced onions. Okay, so what are we doing with that? I'm going to get a little bit of Butter. butter. Okay, Mark fingers. will be proud to see the butter come out. Yeah, it's an ode to Mark, really. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't need to use butter. Butter's delicious, but a bit of olive oil. Okay. Just as well. So if you saute that up for us. Yep, well I can do that. Cool. What are you up to now? A bit of garlic? Uh, a little bit of garlic, yep. I'm going to saute off the onion first, so you don't want your garlic to burn. Now you mentioned before um, the texture of this risotto. Is that what you like about it, or is it the flavour? Yeah, it's a, te it's a bit of both. Textural flavour. Um, it's almost like uh, if you get a really nice, good quality brown rice, it holds its shape. Um, really well, so you're biting into like individual grains rather than mush stuff. Cool, I yeah. can't see anything. Yeah, I'll do it again. I'm doing it again for you. I know, I know. it's just you. I know. Yeah, you always make me cry, shark. Okay. Cool. Looking good. They're smelling good. good. Cooking onions smells great. Yeah. You know something oh. great is about to happen. Okay, cool. Mm, yeah. And the stock's coming along nicely. Stock's yep heating up. Cool. Just. Well, don't wanna, you don't, don't want to boil it? it? No, I don't want to boil it. You just want to simmer it. Just get some taste. Okay, cool. Uh, now, to go with this, mm. I'm going to do some Parmesan wafers. Oh, OK. Yeah. That sounds flash. That's melted cheese. Right. <laughs> melted cheese is good with anything, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but it's all in the technique, so you get a bit of grease, grease, grease proof, proof paper. paper. Yep. Yeah. Just going to make a few piles. So it doesn't need to be too thick, because it's Not a wafer. Thick. Right, okay, you don't cool. want it. No, you want some holes in there, otherwise it's just a big slab. Okay, cool. So about the size of a fried egg. Yeah. Okay. And you probably want to do more than two. Right. Because everybody. Well, there's a lot of us here today. Yeah, yeah. I think one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Yeah, there's a few. Uh, and we're just carrying our flavours through. Yeah. So I've got some thyme here that I'm going to sprinkle on it. Okay. And then once you've got the thyme in, yeah. how do you cook that? We're just going to put it in the oven. Okay. Any pan bake. About pan 180. Bake. Yep. Yeah. Keep an eye on it. You don't want to let it colour too much. It's almost just when it's past melting, bubbling a little bit. If it starts going orange, it'll, it can get really bitter and just horrible. Nice work. A waste of good cheese, that is. OK, no, you're right. Well, there you go. So far, so good. Nice <laughs> and easy. If you want the recipe, go to thecafe.co.au. We are back in the kitchen with Shark. We're making the barley risotto. And I see you've, uh, you, well, I you've done jumped quite a bit of work, bit. didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. So take us through this process, because I guess that's the most important, isn't it? Um, so I've not done it the traditional uh, risotto way with rice, where you fry your onions and you put your rice in and you fry that and you slowly add stock to it. 
This is a bit of a lazy version. Yeah, we like that. That's good. <laughs> I like it. Um, so it's the absorption method. So uh, my barley went in. Yeah. Um, and then all the flavoured stock went in. Yes. Put a lid on it, and I'm just going to simmer it. Uh, and then at the end, when it's reducing down a little bit more, I'll give it a stir. That will get some of the um, starches to come off and flavour it. How it much off. over the barley should you have your stock, if you know what I mean? When you're pouring your stock in, how much do That's you put a in? good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of wing it. Okay, um, so it really depends on the barley, because you sometimes get barley that are quite large, uh, yes. and then sometimes they're really small, so right. they'll soak up less. Um, so, so if just you overfill it, then you just got to wait a bit longer, because it'll longer. take longer to absorb. The good yeah. thing about barley is that it's a bit, it's more of a robust um, grain, so okay. it's not going to turn to mush like rice will. Okay, brilliant. Yep. Okay, now, well, that's simmering away nicely. It smells delicious. Uh, time to chop some mushrooms. Chop some mushrooms. So we're not going to add cream to the risotto itself. Right. Or, so the creaminess is going to come from mushrooms, going to... Fry up some mushrooms on top. And you've got some different varieties there. Yeah, we've mushrooms. got a couple of fresh, yeah, some button mushrooms. Yep. We've got some flat mushrooms. Good work. Um, hot pan, always. Yes, it's um, heating up, Chef. If you're frying mushrooms up. and all the liquid's coming out, um, okay. your pan's too cold. Okay. And if it does happen, don't tip that liquid right away. That's, that's all the flavours. Okay, yep. great. A little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. Good work. Yeah, that's, that's for Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Just about forgotten who he is. He's been, he's been gone a long time. What's he doing? Jeez. Okay. All right, cool. Hot pan. Mushroom's going to go in. Nice. Spread them around a little bit. It's a nice, quick, easy meal, actually, isn't it? You know. It's good, yeah. Get it's some really mushrooms, nice. chop okay. some onions. So you can see the, the stock is reducing. Yep. Um, and it's kind of thickening up. You know, the starches have come off. Um, the barley, so that's looking good. Nice. Put a lid on. It's a good use of barley, because, you know, I guess if you don't use it a lot, because barley's cheap, you know, if you don't use it a lot and you don't know how to use it, then it's wasted, isn't it? It's a nice variation. It's a, it feels yeah. like a heartier um, version of risotto. Oh, I can't, you know, I can't it's a good wait winter. to try it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, great. it's like. great with meat. Like, you know, I said the venison be fantastic with some lamb. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, you just have it like that, can yeah, you? Yeah, vegetarian like style. Okay, so the mushrooms are cooking. They're cooking. That's reducing. Well done. Oh, the wafers. Minute, how are your wafers oh, the going? Wafers are heading here. Look at Close. that. Oh, yeah, brilliant. There you cool. go. Nice. Cool. Look at that. Yeah, it's good. Oh, should yeah. I try some? Mm. Melted cheese. Mm. Oh, nothing like yeah. mounted cheese. Melted cheese. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, and just before we wrap up here, what else do we have to do? We're going to give it. Some cream, okay. some cream in us. So we're just going to make a, not a light sauce at all because it's got cream in it, but uh, a little bit of sauce on top. Bit of cream fresh. Cream fresh. Yeah. Really just going to mix it up. That. Mix right. it up. Yeah. Why did you take it off the heat to stir it? Because the cream fresh is quite thick, so I don't want it to turn into a, a paste. Okay, good. Yeah. Nice. So I just want to melt it really. Some black pepper. Salt and pepper, yum. Yeah. Oh, this is going to uh, be good. Now, don't um, <clears throat> season your risotto till the end. Okay. It's really dependent on your stock and how much salt comes in a stock. If you make it at home, you'll, you won't add any salt, uh, salt into it. So Brilliant. It'll be but okay, nice. Good. Smelling incredible here, Chef Shark. Good work. The recipe at thecafe.co.nz. And any other recipes pretty you want to okay. hunt out? Looks Give them good. a go. Are you happy? I'm happy. Okay, nice. A little bit of this. He's just doing the little test. Going good? Tasting good? Good, yep. Okay, yep. he's a happy good. man, which is good. Fantastic. It's looking really good. So our, our risotto is uh, reduced nicely. How do you it's test nice to make pack. sure it's cooked properly? Spoon in Spoon. your mouth, okay. usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> good work. Are you happy? Happy, good. Oh, yep. good. A little bit of seasoning. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use a little bit of soy sauce in there. It's just going to add to the... Hearty flavour, so it's good. Nice work. Yeah. Well, plate it up with the wafers and the mushrooms. Oh yeah. <gasps> so this is barley, which traditionally I just feed to horses. Um, <laughs> 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 but you get the old shark attack on it, and where you go, look at it. You turn it into a restaurant-grade meal. Oh, it looks so good, shark. Look at that. Okay. It's very wholesome. Really nice.
Very I'm awesome. looking forward oh, to the parmesan. Bring it yeah. over. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. well, that. Where are those wafers? Okay. Oh, yeah, wafers. Get a wafer. We'll put no those on, we'll put oh, those on the side. Oh, you get them too. I get some for your desk. That's good, mate. <laughs> <laughs>